Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com celebrating Black Friday with a special video today. Today, WatchGang.com is running a special on their Wheel of Watches. If you guys didn't get the email, there's a whole bunch going on on the Wheel of Watches today uh, with moving the Rolexes from tier, I'm sorry, from Grails to tier 6, from moving tags from tier 6 to tier 5, all sorts of stuff going on today. Um, so I figured today would be a great day to take a spin at the Wheel of Watches with you, my viewers. Before we get started though, guys, can you do me a favor? Down there in the right hand corner of your screen is the subscribe button. Can you go ahead and hit that for me so you can follow us on into the future? Thank you. Alright, so as you can see, I'm already logged into the wheel.com, which redirects you to app.watchgang. App.watchgang, sorry. So I've added my points to the account, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the spins here and get this wheel loaded up. Today, I believe I'm gonna do a 600 point wheel spin, a 300 point wheel spin, and a 100 point wheel spin. So let's jump into the 300 point, or I'm sorry, 600 point wheel spin first because that's where all the excitement is. Now, one thing I had noticed so far this morning just in getting my uh, account loaded up with points is their website is extremely slow today. Now, I completely imagine that that is because um, they are getting hammered with people trying to log on for this Black Friday sale, um, but we will take a look here. Now, what's interesting to me is, okay, there we are. <clears throat> Just taking a look to see if I can find what watches I'm going to pick. So the first one I'm going to pick is this um, this Royal Oak Offshore Chronograph for my Grail. That to me is an absolutely gorgeous watch um, and has been a personal Grail for a while. So that's on the Grail watches pick. I only get one of those picks. Next is on to Tier 6 watches um, where we get to pick from a few of the different. And I'm gonna go ahead and select, this. see this one's a toss up for me. I don't know if I wanna go with a tag or if I wanna go with a TCM. Um, they both have benefits. All these watches are on their tier six normally. So I'm gonna skip over those right now because I can always come back and take a look at those in the future. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the tag automatic chronograph for tier six. Now we're off to tier five watches. We get to pick one of these watches also. Um, <clears throat> we have the TCM Milano Chrono. I haven't seen this watch. So let's take a look and see what this guy is real quick. And that's the TCM Milano Chrono. That's a pretty sharp watch. Um, or we can go with the TCM or in tiering. I've had an orienteering in the past, so I think I'm going to go with the Milano Chrono for my Tier 5 selection. Now jumping down to the, let's see here, Tier 4 selections for this spin, I absolutely have to go with that Out of Order Crimson Red Automatic Limited Edition. That is just a sexy, sexy watch. And then <clears throat> I see there's a lot of people on the hunt for the red turpentine. So I don't know, maybe I should try for the brownstone. What do you guys think? Think brownstone? It's got a higher resale value than the turpentine. But everybody's looking for the turpentine. So let's go with that one close out my tier 4 selections. Now we are on to my tier 3 watch selection, which this guy I am probably going to select these two Vostoks and then this Belova. Now I'm a huge fan of the Vostoks, so 
any one of those I get is fine. The Biloba's not bad either. I, if I'm going to get an Aragon, I'm going to get an Aragon, as you guys have seen directly from Aragon. Um, I wouldn't waste my wheel spin on those ju just because we're looking at some pretty good deals at Aragon. So let's, <clears throat> before I go ahead and click this and find out my destiny, I've got the selection for the Grail, my selection for the Tag, we have a, a TCM Milano Chrono, a limited edition Torpedine Red, the Out of Border Crimson Red Automatic Limited Edition, Vostok, the Vostok Rocket, and then the Biloba. Now my gut tells me just because this is how it goes for me and I don't really win anything special, my gut tells me I'm going to end up with one of the Tier 3 watches, which, you know what, it's fine, I get it, whatever. So let's go ahead and take a spin on this wheel and see what we come up with. Come on, baby. Give me a grail. Spin, 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 spin. Come on, come on, come on. And we ended up with Vostok automatic with leather strap, it looks like, unless Yep, Vostok automatic with leather strap. Not a bad watch. I'm a fan of the Vostoks, so I'm not horribly upset with that. I am disappointed that I didn't get one of the other watches, um, but you know what? Such is life. That is how it goes on the Wheel of Watches from WatchGang.com. All right, so now I am down to 433 points. That leaves me a chance at two other spins on the other two wheels. So once WatchHang's website updates here, like I mentioned, they are slow as hell today because I'm sure everybody is hitting this site at the exact same time. Next, we're going to go with wheel two for a 300 point spin. Now, while I'm waiting for this to load, um, before I got on here, I loaded my account with a thousand points, which is a $400 purchase. <clears throat> so again, we're going to start with the Grail. I'm going to go with the Royal Oak Offshore. On the Tier 5 watches, I'm going to go with the Chrono. On the, what is this? This is Tier 4. I am going to go with the Crimson Red Automatic. You notice from uh, the 600 point spin to the 300 point spin, you only get one selection on Tier 4. <clears throat> so now we're back down to our Tier 3 watches, and I already picked up this N1 rocket, so we're going to go with the Vostok on this one. And let's just take a look and see if I'm missing anything. I already have an Enforcer. I have a Caprice on the way. The Armor Light watches, they're okay. Um, they just don't really catch my eye all that much. And there's a lot of the ballasts going around, so I'm going to skip that one, because if I wanted to end up with a ballast, I could um, just buy one. So we're going to go back with the Edition North Pole Chronograph and the Belova Precisionist for Tier 3 watches. <clears throat> Dropping down to our... Jesus, there's a lot of watches on here, and you notice they're not all updating. So now we're going to drop down to the Tier 2 watches and see what we have. So we have Dexter's, Bull, Bull, Breed, Chrono, Equipped, Men's Chrono. I have not had an Equip watch before. I don't know anything about them, but it's a it's a sharp looking watch. <clears throat> Maybe we'll throw that guy on here just for the hell of it to see what happens. Um, more equips. have a 
lot of heritors. Now, I have a few heritors, plus I have another coming in, so I'm not thinking I'm going to go for that one. All these images not being loaded is because of just how busy their website is right now. Thanks to this Black Friday sale at the Watch Gang Wheel of Watches. Decisions, decisions, guys. Especially when I can't see the picture, this makes us a huge pain in the ass. And I don't want to reload the page. <clears throat> Bear with me, guys. I know this is taking forever. You know what, though? We're going to go ahead and reload this page and see if we can get some more images. Even if I have to go back and post up Click on everything I just did, um, you know, such is life. Yep, and I did. So let's hope some of these images fill in now. I'll give it a minute before we start doing anything crazy. Yep, and there's a whole bunch not filled in still. But <clears throat> like I said, it's to be expected, their website, I'm sure, is getting hammered. So again, going with the Royal Oak, the TCM Chrono. <sighs> no. The Crimson Red is gone. That means somebody just won it. Son of a... All right, we're going to go with the Torpedine Red. That annoys me profusely. Oh, no, there it is. Why would it be down there? Anyway, <clears throat> crimson red automatic. Great. And we're going to go with the North Pole and the Precisionist. And my dog just walked in the room, so this is going to be a pain in the ass. So those are selected. And we have the breeds. We're going to go back with that black quip, which, realistically speaking, I fully expect that these are one of the watches I'm actually going to win, knowing that, personally, I never win anything. So, I want to make sure I select something that I like. And this guy is ugly. So, we're not going to select that one. What's this guy? Nope, no gold for me is not gonna happen. I thought I saw a moon face here somewhere. What's this hair to look like? That's actually not horrible. Let's throw that one on there just to be different. Could be wrong, I thought for sure I saw a moon face here somewhere. Yeah, I like that one better than this one though, because I don't like the gold. So we're gonna change our number two selection to this. And son of a bitch, I gotta drop out that <coughs> other number two selection. Take this guy off. Go back up to where we were. Semi skeleton. What's this guy look like? That guy's not horrible, has the moon phase. Alright, let's take a look at the Heritor Winston. We're going to go with this guy. Alright, so that closes out our wheel. <clears throat> so we have the Heritor Automatic Winston, we have the Automatic. Pythes bracelet, day date. We have the equip, we have the Belova, we have the North Pole, and the Crimson Red. Now, quite honestly, I'm hoping it lands somewhere in here, but my guess is it lands somewhere in here. We're taking bets on this one, guys, because oh, 
out of stock. The TCM Chrono is out of stock. Son of a bitch, I've got to do this all over again. <clears throat> all right, let's jam through this guy real quick again because I have a feeling this is going to happen nonstop this morning. So because that one's gone, we're going to go with this TCM Orienteering. And we are going to go with the Crimson Red Automatic. And we are going to go with the North Pole and the Belova. I did not plan on this for taking this long this morning, guys. What the hell? I don't know anything about bull watches, so I'm going to skip those guys. I just want to take a look at this guy real quick. Zinfo. Never heard of him, but that doesn't mean anything. That's kind of an interesting looking watch. You know what? I'm going to throw that one on there. Uh, these guys are killing me with their micro brands that I've never heard of, but it does give me the opportunity to learn. It's kind of interesting, but I'm not a fan of the gold, so we're going to skip that one. We're going to stick with the silver. We're going to go with the equip again. <clears throat> then let's go find that heritor with the metal band. Cahill. I've got a lot of black watches already, so I'm going to skip over that one. It's the Kinzar with leather. There it is. Leather band. All right, closed out. Let's try this again. Automatic with paint these bracelet. Equip. Zinvo Chrono. Belova. North Pole and Crimson Red. Ready? Spin. Come on, give me a grail. Give me a son of a bitch. Told you I would end up with that one again. All right. Told you I would end up with that one. All right, so we have one last spin here, guys. See, this is why I don't spend money on Watch Gang's Wheel of Watches, because I always, 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 I've done this once before, and I always get the lowest value watches in the spin. So, all right, so we're going to throw the Royal Oak on here for my Grail. Do this again. For the Tier 4, we are going to throw this Crimson Red Automatic about any of those. For this guy, we're going to stick with the North Pole. And now we are off to these, which I'm going to throw on this Chrono. And then we're going to skip over the Quip because I wasn't really feeling that one. Oh, I shouldn't skip over it though. What's this guy? Morphic M4. Silicone strap, I'm not really feeling that one. I know I'm going to end up with another Heritor because that's the way this shit rolls for me, so let's pick something that I somewhat like. Those 3D Eagles, Aragon 3D Eagles, and my German Shepherd just walked in now. This is great. Um, anyway, those Aragon 3D Eagles are nice watches. Ava, get out. It's like a party in here. All my animals are in here now. It's rain. Rain cascade. What is this guy? I've not seen this one before. Yep, that's a sharp looking rain. So that is gonna be it for me. So rain. So that locks out the tier two, now we're on to the tier one, which is probably what I'm gonna end up with because I lose at everything. I, there's no way I'm getting a Simplify. I cannot stand the Simplify watches. Ava, get out, go. All right, and they're all pure dial and Simplify, except for this Onesis. 
So we're going to select that one. And what the hell? I don't want three of these watches. All of these watches I cannot stand. Fine, we'll go with this one. And this one. All right, so a bunch of crappy watches that I don't want, that I don't really care about. A couple watches that I am interested in. Let's take a spin and see what we get. Not holding out a whole lot of hope for this one because my luck sucks. And look at that. The shittiest possible watch I could have gotten on the spin. But you know what, guys? That's the way this thing goes. That's the way the Wheel of Watches goes. I can't be mad. Um, there are all watches that are coming in. So this is how it goes. All right, guys, so that was the Watch Gang Wheel of Watches. And that's how so many people like myself just keep throwing money, chasing that grail, chasing that extra need just to win that watch you want. Today, ended up like suckers, dumped the money, got a three watches. We'll see what they look like when they come in. Who knows? I'm not overly excited about my wins today. Um, but you know what? That's kind of what happens when you go on Watch Gang's Wheel of Watches. You take your chances and sometimes you hit big, sometimes you lose. Today I lost. Anyway, have a great weekend guys. Again, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com. Hit us up on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, and definitely hit that lower button to subscribe to our channel so you can follow me on into the future. Thank you guys and have a great week.